Hello, I'm back. And for my response blog, my first response blog, I'm responding to Diane West, who did her blog on uh, the theme of hope in the absolutely true diary of a part-time Indian by Sherman Alexi. And um, she also spoke about in her blog how um, it seems like Alexi used the images many times to contrast the things that were being written and also uh, vice versa. Sometimes the images would contrast uh, or the words were contrasting the images. And um, just in thinking about this book, I really saw the theme of hope. Um, that was the strongest thing that stood out to me when I first read the book, when I was first thinking about the book. And um, also later on, as I thought about it more, I began to see the contrast between the theme of hope and the theme of death that was really woven into the book as well and how the death um, aspect of, of the story really contrasts that theme of hope and um, so I thought that this would go along really well with the things that Diane said as a matter of fact I want to read um, something that she said just a quote from her in her vlog um, she said that Arnold carries this image simultaneously of hope and hopelessness and I would just even further say that that hopelessness is actually equal um, to death in Alexi's writing. Because um, even when you look at the first chapter of the story, and Arnold is firmly entrenched in the, in the reservation and in the reservation life, and there's so much hopelessness and death in that first chapter. Um, he even talks about how he really shouldn't even be alive because he was born with um, with the, the, the disability that he was born with and, and when they did the surgery they didn't expect him to live and so here it is again this contrast that he's not even supposed to be alive that there's um, only hope in his life because he's alive but other than that everything is death when I read the first chapter it was so sad and so depressing that I really didn't want to keep reading the book that's how sad it was. And you can even look at the um, image that he draws of himself on page five. And it's it's almost disturbing. The the picture of himself, it's not, to me, that cartoon was not funny or cute at all. Um, he looked like a kid that was really going to have a hard time in life in that picture. And um, on page six, Arnold himself says this. He says, so I draw because I feel like it might be my only real chance to escape the reservation. And so we see Alexi um, drawing that conclusion that life on the reservation isn't life at all, that it's just a ticket to death. Um, whether it's a life, a life of death, a life of no life at all, where you're alive, you're just surviving, you're not living, you're not um, experiencing success in life, you're not experiencing good things in life. It's just all sad and depressing and death. And as Diane says, hopelessness. Um, but we see there in that statement, even though there's not much hope in that, what Arnold says about himself, that drawing is his only chance to escape the reservation. Um, but we see that there is hope if he leaves the reservation. In this case, he's saying he does it through drawing. At this point, he doesn't even know that he can um, leave the reservation. We can look at this um, contrast even more uh, and see um, how Alexi seems to um, equate hopelessness with death. And we can look at the drawing on page 43 that Diane mentioned in her, um, in her blog. And he has this conversation with Mr. P, the teacher. And Mr. P says to Arnold, if you stay on this reservation, they're all going to kill you. And so the picture is really, really clear that Alexi is drawing that um, off the reservation is hope. We see that sign pointing that way and the, the picture, the image on that page 43 of the reservation is just some dilapidated houses and trees and there's just nothing there. And so um, the reservation equals death, but life off the reservation um, is where hope is, where his hope lies. Alexi continues to illustrate this, we see throughout the story. Um, as one person after another from Arnold's life on the reservation begins to die. Um, first, his grandmother gets hit by a drunk driver um, 
and dies. And then his dad's friend, Eugene, who me meant a lot to Arnold, dies. Um, and also then his sister dies on a different reservation and um, in a fire. And so it's interesting to note that all of this death is happening and surrounding Arnold. And while that's happening, he's off the reservation now. He's going to school and he's um, enjoying his life at school. He's making friends. He's successful in his schoolwork. Um, he's very smart. And he also is becoming a really great basketball player. And so every area that you would hope to have success in life in, especially um, a kid his age, he's doing that. He's excelling and living and enjoying life off the reservation. And so um, once again, we see this point that Alexi is making that on the reservation, there's nothing but death, but off the reservation is where hope and, and life comes in. And so, you know, even though there are times throughout the story, like Diane mentioned, that um, Alexi seems to use the images to argue against um, the things that the book is saying, for example, with the, the picture of the um, winged horse, the mythical horse, and saying that hope is a myth, um, but still Arnold is experiencing hope off the reservation. And so I'm not sure if Alexi does that to try to break up the, the very strong black and white contrast because it seems like he almost only sees in black and white on this issue of you know, death on the reservation, hope and life off the reservation. Um, and so maybe the, the idea of arguing between the images um, with the words or the words with the images is a way to add some gray areas in there because, you know, life truly is full of gray areas. Um, overall, though, to me, the overarching theme in this book is the, the contrast between death and life and what Arnold has to do in order to continue to, to be successful is to take his Indian culture off the reservation and begin to assimilate um, into the American culture and just bring with him the good parts about um, his Indian culture with him. So that's what I wanted to say and I just thank anyone for watching and um, just look forward to more discussions with you guys.